Hey guys, what's up? Luke here, wearing a Colts shirt. I will be at Colts training camp in two days, and there's some things that I'm looking for. What are you guys, you know, interested in? First of all, comment down below what you guys want me to look for at training camp day one. I basically am going to be one of the first people to be able to see training camp uh, in person, right? See this new Colts team, sort of. And the guy that I'll be watching the most is the guy that everybody's wondering about, Anthony Richardson. And I want to tell you right now, I just, I just watched a uh, great interview with Dan Orlovsky, Pat McAfee. And what Dan said is something that I think I failed to say exactly, but I finally now know how to say it. Anthony Richardson should never, ever change his play style. He should just learn how to develop it more and maybe be careful and stuff, but not change. So I had said earlier, oh, he shouldn't run at all. He should only throw the ball for the first six games. That's not true. Truthfully, he's six foot five. He's two fifty. Hit, hits are gonna happen. He had unfortunate hits. I think he should still run the ball. And uh, obviously, I'm not gonna see much of that at training camp. But again, if he's throwing the ball accurately, if he's spinning it deep, man, oh man, with JT in the backfield as well, he doesn't really need to change. And I think it's it, it's such a it's such a evil thing that we do two players to say that they need to change when they made it all the way to the NFL. Imagine you made it to the head of a Fortune 500 company and I told you to change everything that you have already learned and done for years that got you to be the CEO of that Fortune 500 company. You would look at me and say, Luke, you're an idiot. And I bet you if if some of y'all talking about Anthony Richardson, you know who you are, right? Out there in the media, on YouTube, everywhere. If you said this stuff to Anthony Richardson's face, he would look at you and say, I'm in the NFL, drafted fourth overall. Why do you think that is? And of course, you would think, well, because the Colts overpicked that. Da, 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 da. No, it's not that. It's because the Colts believed in him. The last time they, they, they'd pick a quarterback that high, close to that high, was Andrew Luck and Peyton Manning. How did those guys turn out? Pretty damn good. Seems like the Indianapolis Colts know, and what know what they're doing when it comes to quarterbacks. Right. Drafted wise, not picking up quarterbacks, you know, da 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 da. Again, it's just funny, and, and this is a direct call out to many Colts fans. Guys, you Colts fans who were complaining about the quarterback carousel, where we went and got old guys, and then we went and picked a 20, 20 year old at the time, now he's 21, to play quarterback, and you're complaining about him? I want you to remember the years that we missed the playoffs, missed the playoffs, missed the playoffs, because that's what was happening. So I'd rather have a chance with a fun team that I can root for every week instead of a no chance with a team that frickin' is boring and sucks. Remember Matt Ryan, right? Or remember Carson Wentz. Oh, you're thinking, well, that was a fun team. Was it? Getting blown out in Jacksonville week 17, winning you're in against a crappy Jacksonville squad, mind you. That was fun. Anthony Richardson won't let that happen. He's a gamer. He's a baller. He's locked in. He's humble. I've watched five interviews with Anthony Richardson over the offseason. He's always stayed the same. He is always staying even keel. He's ready to go. He, he He's ready to prove doubters wrong. But it, again, he doesn't really call out people. I low-key wish he was more egotistical. I wish he was more angry. I wish he was more like a Caleb Williams, who I actually enjoy, right? I've said that before. But again, no. He chooses to be humble with you people who are actually hating him. Because guess what happens? Week one, his Keats will touch the stadium in Lucas Oil Stadium. And he's going to show the world. He's going to show... CJ Stroud and the Texans, what Indianapolis is about. Because guess what? CJ had said before playing the Colts week 18, he said Indy's a weak city. And Anthony Richardson didn't get to back us up. CJ Stroud is in freaking Houston, bro. Come on. Anyway, none of that matters. What I'm looking for in training camp is the connection to Josh Downs. Maybe the new connection with A.D. Mitchell. Is the Pittman connection still there? And is J.T. and A.R., are they kind of working together? If that offense is flowing and exploding, I'll tell you guys the day of, right after training camp, and I'll tell you everything I learned. And defensively, oh my goodness. The D-line play is going to be so incredible to look at. So again, this is a preview of, of, of what I want to get to. I just had to rant about Anthony Richardson because, again, he gets so much flack for a dude who only got to play four games. You're saying, well, that's why he got flack? That's a little bit BS. When Joe Burrow only played two and a half games, I'm pretty sure, his first season and broke his ACL, what did people say? Well, he's Joe Burrow. It's fine. He's Joe Burrow. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's broke his ACL. And I'm, I'm going to tell you this, too. Joe Burrow lovers. Joe Burrow in those first two and a half games was not playing like the Joe Burrow of now. What did he do? 
he improved, right? Anthony Richardson is already good, and it had time to improve. League better get ready. Colts are finishing no worse than second in the division, and they could win the whole thing. Again, no season predictions until mid-August for me because I have to watch all of training camp. But I'm telling you right now, I'm very high on them, and they're getting stepped on again, which is whatever. That's cool. I'm expecting it. But what's really funny about the Colts is they get stepped on by their own fans. And if you're thinking, Luke, you're crazy, we're just being honest Colts fans. You guys said the same thing about the Pacers last year. And what did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? We're going to be in the playoffs. We're going to be in the Instagram finals. What did people say to me? Luke, you're delusional. Who was right? Now look at Who was right? Who was right? Who always believed? But again, you guys just think I'm high, 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 high. I keep it real. Now, I was extremely wrong with the Cubs. I don't keep up with baseball like that. I watch it, but keep up with in the offseason-wise, I'm not keeping up in the offseason with the Cubs. Pacers and Colts, I do, because of being in Indy. So, yeah, get ready. Colts are coming. Training camp's coming. We're going to try to get uh, shorts made, videos made, maybe I go live during training camp, don't know what I'm going to do, but I have five different training camp things I'm going to, July 25th, July 30th, August 2nd, August 5th, August 7th, so five different days, um, so get ready guys, a lot of great content coming out, go Colts, and a whole lot more Colts content coming too, so get ready for football season, it's right around the corner, thank you guys, like the video and subscribe, thank you bye.